Okay, here we go. It's Tuesday Tour again. And today we're going to talk about four properties, two houses, two condos, neighborhoods ranging from Pacific Heights to Nopa. So I'm going to, I'm going to start and we're going to go from high to low. So I'm going to start with Pacific Heights. Big, big, big house. Big beater house. Um, this house suffered what they called misguided improvements, probably back in the 1960s, when some well-meaning soul went and slathered plaster all over its beautiful wooden facade, ripped off all the term, trim. Um, I'm sure they thought they were doing good things, but they really messed it up. So from the exterior, it doesn't look like much, but when you walk in, it is amazingly pristine and original with um, lots of exposed wood trim, beautiful wainscoting. It really looks like it's not been touched in many, 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 many years. Um, that's mostly a good thing. In some ways, it's a bad thing because it's also um, been neglected. And among the misguided improvements were also some, um, they did a, it's like a 1970s kitchen and they did this thing back in the 70s where they really liked to drop the ceiling in the kitchen and make it cozy and it's got these fluorescent lights and um, rather unpleasant cabinetry. So the kitchen's kind of grim, the bathrooms are really rough. It's huge. It is 3,040 square feet. It is a four bedroom plus den, two baths, or they call it two water closets. Um, there's a small yard and this is Pacific Heights. It's on California at, I think, Baker. That's a busy street. It's listed for 2.5. Um, there are lots of disclosures out on it right now. Apparently, this is a big play for a developer who's going to go in and give it the love that it needs, but it's pretty spectacular. Then, another house. This one is also pretty substantial in square footage. Um, it is a, let's call it a five bedroom, I think two bath. The fifth bedroom is actually on the lower level. It's an Edwardian. It has a really, really nice facade. This is in a prime Richmond district area. It's on 9th between Balboa and Anza. It's a kind of Victorian home that you think of when you think of the San Francisco Victorian home. So it's got a peaked roof. It's got really pretty bay windows. Um, square footage on the tax records is 1,540, but really it's more than that. Probably because the tax records are not including the room and bath down on the lower level, and also there was a really nicely done extension on the home in the back. Looks like it was maybe done in the 70s or 80s, but it was done really nicely, and it makes it um, feel lovely and spacious, direct access to the backyard from the rear of the home. This is listed at 1.6, and it seemed like a really good deal, and so I went and took a look at it for my clients. They have a lot of disclo disclosures back, and the agent quietly indicated to me that he thinks they're gonna hit two million with it. So listed for one six, could easily go for two. This is not a surprising distance between list price and selling price in San Francisco with the kind of overbidding that we're seeing. So that's that one. Two condos, two NOPA condos. Um, the more expensive one I saw is on Baker between McAllister and Fulton. It's listed for 900,000. This is another kind of quintessential San Francisco experience. It is a Victorian apartment in what used to be a very glorious mansion. What that means when you get an apartment in what used to be a very glorious mansion is a floor plan that we'll call unusual. It's a funky floor plan. Um, honestly, I can't quite remember this floor plan, but it's a two bedroom, one and a half bath. And the reason that I don't remember these floor plans is because they're just sort of usually very disorienting. There's nothing typical about each one. And a lot of people like that because it makes it quite unique. It is beautifully staged. It shows so well. You have the great high ceilings. The rooms have a decent scale and the windows look out at very pleasant things. You're either looking in this building, I think the, the views are out to the side and the back and the vantage points offer lots of green, lots of sky, trees nice Victorian architecture outside the windows. Um, listed for $899, it does come with parking and you are in an amazing location, a walk to everything neighborhood. The last one I saw, I thought was the best value. Um, it is another NOPA listing. It is at the corner of Turk and Baker. 
This one is a, it's a thousand fifty square feet. Technically it's a one bedroom, but it's a four room flat. So you get a kitchen, you get a formal dining room, you get a living room, you get a bedroom. That's a lot of space for $7.99. You do get parking. Um, you get amazing light. It's a corner building. You get vintage architecture. I think it was built in the 1920s. I think the reason the agent listed it at this price is because it's on Turk at Baker. Turk is busy. It's busy, busy, busy. Lots of traffic and it's all going one way and it can get a little noisy. The unit does not have double pane windows. It is up and away from the street so it's not as if you're seeing semi trucks drive right by your eyes when you're living inside the unit and the bedroom is set off the street so when you sleep it's going to be quiet and it's I, I could live there I could comfortably live there with um, the volume level being the way that it is outside it's 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 not bad um, the light is extraordinary the views are terrific and I think this is the best value. I'll be really inter just interested to see where it sells. Um, it looks to be staged with the seller's stuff, but the agent did a really good job in getting his seller to just pare down and pare down and pare down. I swear these people must have three quarters of their stuff in storage. You go into their closets and it might be a husband and wife, but the husband, the, the wife like left like only her very best pairs of shoes lined up in the closet. Um, it really, it, it's a lovely, it's a lovely unit, and at $7.99, I think this was the best value I saw. And that is at Turk and Baker, and we are done. Bye!